Today, we would like to introduce Zegan's first esports mouse, the NP01. It's the first product developed by Vaxi in collaboration with Nopo. In the past, mice shapes were usually categorized as symmetrical or non-symmetrical to help us pick a suitable shape for ourselves. Some people stick to symmetrical shapes while others swear by non-symmetrical shapes. Then, there are some people who can easily switch between both. However, there is no best option as it is all about how comfortable you feel with the mouse and how well you perform in-game. We've noticed that a possible reason why people can't get used to non-symmetrical mice is because they're only comfortable holding the mouse at a flat angle or at a low tilt. They need to freely make micro adjustments to their holding angles, but non-symmetrical mice usually have a high hump at the back, which restricts these adjustments. In the past, Vaxi focused on the connection between fingers and palm to design palm grip and claw grip shapes. Now, we've extended it further from palm to wrist, taking into account the different types of grip angles flat grip, low tilt grip, and high tilt grip, then including it into our shape design. If we look back at the history of symmetrical mice, this design came about so it could be used by both left and right-handed users. It would normally have side buttons on both sides of the mouse that could be made switchable through firmware adjustments or drivers. For symmetrical mouse users, they will usually pinch their ring and little finger when trying to hold the mouse more tightly. They do this to conform to the shape of symmetrical mice and it is neither natural nor comfortable. So we've made a non-symmetrical shape for flat grippers and low tilt grippers without the high hump in the back. This lets them adjust their fingers comfortably according to their own preference. We've also increased the curvature of the mouse which provides more room for the ring and little finger. Nopo has used symmetrical mice for a very long time and he is a low tilt gripper. When he first received the sample, he noticed that the more generous curve allowed him to place his ring and small finger in a way that let him grip the mouse more comfortably. Nopo had always chosen symmetrical mice because he didn't like the restricted tilt angle that came with non-symmetrical mice. The team here at Vaxi hopes that this design insight will provide users with an additional reference point when choosing a mouse. A separated button design provides a lighter click feeling. And with our design, the buttons have very limited shifting when pressed. If it has a large amount of shifting, it could cause the shell to crack and create an undesirable experience. In the past, we tried implementing a separated button design, but this issue of shifting and poor stability could not be fixed. With our new design, we finally solved the problem. On top of this, we've also enhanced the rebound strength during clicks, allowing users to get immediate feedback while clicking. This provides a complete experience of first, a clear click, which triggers an action, followed by a rebound back to its original position, allowing users to clearly get a feel for the firing rhythm. This is combined with a shorter travel distance and the ability to press down vigorously without bottoming out. In our previous design, the separation between the top and bottom part of the shell created a noticeable separation line. With our current design, this separation line will be very small, which improves the grip feeling as it is barely noticeable on your palm. With the side buttons, our goal was to ensure we wouldn't touch them when holding the mouse. If side buttons are too big, it affects the thumb placement, and so we reduce the size of the side buttons and combine that with a shorter travel that still prevents accidental clicks. We've built upon the original formula for mouse feet and improved it to make it smoother and more durable. The mouse feet thickness is 0.45 millimeters, and we decided on this after testing the sensor and liftoff distance on numerous mouse pads of varying surfaces. We will be adapting the 3389 sensor this time. 
It has a smoother tracking feel than the 3310, but is similar to the 3360. If you're already used to the 3360, you won't need much time to get used to it. The reason why we chose the 3389 is because the x-axis and y-axis tracking is more consistent than the 3360. The x or y-axis being faster or reverse will not be an issue with the 3389 sensor. Those who have used the 3360 sensor will be able to feel the difference by paying a bit more attention to how it feels. If the LOD is too low, it sometimes makes it hard to swipe your mouse, but if the LOD is too high, it makes the cursor jittery, affecting movements. We will therefore provide an LOD range of 1 to 1.8 millimeters. When it comes to the mouse surface, we've provided a new hand feel based on a matte UV coating. If you get sweaty hands, it won't give you that greasy, slippery feeling you'd get with a glossy coating. The hand feel is between a matte UV coating and glossy coating. We'd also like to remind everyone that the color shown is not final. And that's the introduction to the Zegan NP01. The specs sheet will be provided on the Vaxi website.